What's the matter, Pipsqueak? Nobody wants to play with you? Oh. Hey, Scott here, Scotty's Animals. <laughs> I'm with Pipsqueak and Billy, and today we're gonna give Billy a bath. Now this video is about the right way, the easy way, the best way to give a guinea pig a bath. Well, before I get Billy in the bath and get all distracted, I wanted to just show you, this is all you need. So, <laughs> this is a dollar store spa right here. We've got shampoo and conditioner from the dollar store. Also this over here, this is a head and shoulders generic version. And then this is just an organizing grid. This is a $1.99, but I think it's, as it says, it's a great value. Amazing value. The main reason why you're gonna want something like this is it keeps their feet stable. It keeps them from slipping and sliding. You'll notice it's a round bottom sink and it's porcelain. And if you have water and shampoo and soap, they'll be slipping and sliding and, and it's not gonna be comfortable for them. So I like to have a stable surface. Also, when you fill this up, you can fill this up when it comes to the dandruff shampoo, I like to let them soak in it for a little bit because the dandruff shampoo will kill any ringworm spores, any fungus, anything like that. So I like to let them soak. You can even have it shallow and let them soak their feet if you have a case of fungal foot instead of just full-blown ringworm. So let's get Billy in the bath and let's get him clean. Hi, Bill. It's been a little while since you've had a bath, huh? So you really want to make sure that you are feeling the water and that the water is a nice temperature. And you'll find that if you get it at a nice temperature, your piggies won't squirm. If it's too hot or too cold, they'll be going crazy. And it's really hot today, so I'm going to make it a little bit cooler than normal. Right, Bill? You're going to chill out in the bath? Ooh, that's nice. So right now I would say it's a little bit warmer than lukewarm, it's just kind of slightly warm and something to think about I am a scuba diver remember you will lose your body heat faster in water than you do when you're dry so it's just something to think about and something to think about for your piggies okay I'm gonna use just a little of this dandruff shampoo first and then I'm gonna show you how dirty the, the water is so let's just, okay, here we go. Just lather them. I'm gonna do a little bit longer soak after this, but I just want you guys to see, I'll show you how dirty the water is after we get this initial grime off of him. Now, like I said, piggies that live on fleece, they tend to pee and the fleece doesn't absorb all of the pee. Some of the pee doesn't wick through and it gets reabsorbed into their fur. It's just the nature of the fleece, I'm sorry to say. Um, but it is extremely comfortable and, you know, so fleece is one of the bedding types that I recommend. Okay, Bill. Let's do a little bit of a rinse here. I'm going to do another second shampoo, but I just want you guys to see how dirty this water is just after rinsing him off for just a minute or two. Okay. I'm going to put Bill in the bathtub and then I'll show you guys how dirty this water is. Hi Billy. <laughs> Give me a second. So here's this dirty water. Now Saskia did a video just like this. But look at that yellow brown water remember the head and shoulders is not this color that's why I didn't use the vo5 because it is orange so that's some dirty water okay so now I'm gonna do a little bit more of the antifungal shampoo and I'm gonna mix in some regular shampoo what I love about this shampoo well first of all it's only 99 cents <laughs> but you get it at, at the dollar store. But what I like about it is it 
really cuts grease. So if you've got piggies with a grease gland that's maybe overactive, put a little mineral oil or olive oil or something back there, and then uh, this will really strip it off. So the oil will break down the grease, and then you can get the oil off by using one of these types of shampoos. Um, so if you're skeptical, and I can understand it, that you're like, oh, well, why would I use human shampoo on a guinea pig when there's so many shampoos and conditioners and things marketed to pets? So by all means, feel free. Um, so I'll put a link in the description to the, it's called Micronazole. Did I say that right? And it's an antifungal shampoo that we use at the rescue. It's great. There's, I have nothing bad to say about it, but um, it definitely costs a lot more than you know your dollar store head and shoulders and this will kill ringworm so I have a ringworm video if you're struggling with that and not just about bathing so I'll put the link to the ringworm video right here in the uh, right here in the info cards you want to be careful not to get shampoo in their eyes but you really you know you want to get a little bit of shampoo everywhere that you can you know clean the ears and you don't want the water to be any higher than really like their shoulders you don't want them to be struggling to stay out of the water and it is slippery so you got to be conscious some some piggies feel more comfortable if you've got your hand under them and you're holding them to support them so just a, another minute or two here, we'll soak and we'll suds, and then we'll rinse off. So I do like to use conditioner. The reason why I like to use conditioner is it makes the hair softer and smoother, and especially if you have long hair piggies, it definitely makes it less tangly. So it's just something I don't use a lot, I just put a little bit in the water and I let them kind of soak in it before the final rinse. Okay, Bill. Okay. That water was just as dirty. <laughs> okay. But you see, I'm using a lot less water than I would if I have it constantly running or if I have to fill up a big sink, you can use just a little bit of water. And they definitely feel more secure in here. Good boy. So just a little bit of conditioner. And I kind of mix it on my hands and then I'll pick Billy up and I'll just rub him out over. And now mostly, okay, that's about as high as we want the water to go. You don't need to splash around. What's that? You're so handsome. You're so handsome. So I'll let him soak in the conditioner just for a little bit, and then I'll rinse him off, and he'll be ready to be dried. Okay, Bill, final rinse. It's the final rinse. Do 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 do. Boo 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 boo. Boo 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 boo. It's the final rinse down. <laughs> you got any Europe fans out there? The band, not the continent. Okay, you ready to dry? Oh! I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> I love you, Bill. I love you, Bill. Wonder how many times I've said I love him in this video. That'd be a cool drinking game. All right, start it over. This ear is clean, I can nibble it without worrying what kind of poopies on it.
maybe a little cooler even. Let's chill, man. Let's chill, man. Oh. You ready to come out? Okay, come on. Now that we're both soaking wet. <laughs> Look at this butt. Look at this butt. You got a drip dry now, Bill. Just for a minute. You got a drip dry, and then we'll towel dry. It's so hot today, and the sun is coming through the window that if I just wrap him in a towel, in a few minutes, 10 minutes or so, he'll be dry. So maybe we'll just put him in a towel, and we'll watch an episode of Star Trek, and at the end, he'll be dry. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, look, Billy's enjoying some lettuce, sitting in the sun. Don't be shy, Bill. Turn off. The... Don't be shy. Come back. Well, you sit under there and you get dry, sitting in the sunshine. And I'm gonna watch some Star Trek while he's drying. You don't want any more lettuce? Here. Come on. Come on. Look at those whiskers, Billy. <laughs> that is cool. All right, I'm gonna watch some Star Trek. Let Billy get dry. Deep Space Nine, you guys. If you're not watching it, you're missing, missing out. You're almost dry, Bill. You're almost dry. You're so fluffy. Oh. <laughs> Billy's almost dry, but he was getting restless, so I had to give him some treats. So if his lips or under his chin looks orange. This is why. Well, Billy's about 98% dry. He was getting really sick of the towel, so I thought I'd put him home. And I gave him all brand new fleece. Valerie made this awesome rock and roll fleece pad for me for the rock stars. <laughs> Billy. That's a nice poop though, Billy. What, Pippi? What's the matter? What's the matter? How dare you? This one's not about you. Who's doing that? Gary. It's not about you either. If we're gonna do a video about someone else, we should do a video about Dice. Cause we never feature Dice. He's the newest piggy of the group. He's Mikey's friend. There's a Dice man. Billy looks so much cleaner now and shiny. He looks so bright. And he smells good too. Oh, and look at that thing. Piggy's Choice Food Bowl and the Piggy's Choice Corner House. Piggy's Choice is Saskia's brand. Saskia is the director of the LA Guinea Pig Rescue and she makes these items to try to raise funds for the rescue. The rescue is a nonprofit and, you know, of course they could use all the help that they could get, especially in times like these. So. If you like bowls like this and they come in a bunch of different colors, then check it out. I'll put a link in the description. And if you click that link, it also helps my piggies too. All right, well, I hope you guys found this insightful and maybe you learned a few techniques that you hadn't considered. Uh, I'd love to hear what you think in the comments. And if you still think that guinea pigs shouldn't be bathed ever, or only once or twice, or whatever, let's talk about it in the comments, because I'm really curious to hear the reasons why you guys think guinea pigs shouldn't have baths. Alright, see you next time, guys.